All right, so I've got some pretty big news to share with you guys today. I mean, I'm sure many of you have already heard about this because I am a little bit late, but if you've been out of the loop, then this should come as a very pleasant surprise. Okay, so essentially last night, the sixth anniversary on JP officially ended and they released this in-game notice to uh, thank everyone for their support during the anniversary. Basically, it was thank you for buying all the stones. Thank you for giving us all your money. I mean, of course, they didn't exactly word it that way, but that was what I got from it, you know? And they also distributed some nice rewards to all the players in the form of 30 dragon stones, some grand kais, turtle shells, training locations, hercule statues, and 6th anniversary coins. Overall, very generous rewards in my opinion, and they were very much appreciated. But honestly, all of this stuff became an afterthought when people kept reading and saw what came next. And I'm referring to this section right here, which roughly translates to furthermore, in a future update, we will renovate so that two different characters with the same name can be organized into the same team so that you can continue to enjoy Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle even after the 6th anniversary. With this renovation, it will be possible to form a team with a higher degree of freedom than ever before. So please wait for future information disclosure for details. Dude, I mean, that's absolutely insane. Now I know the English is a little bit weird because it was translated from Japanese to English with Google Translate, but the main takeaway here is that there is a massive, massive update coming to Dokkan that is not only going to, you know, change the game forever, but in my opinion, it's going to break the game. Like, this is the biggest update we've ever seen, probably since the introduction of the hidden potential system. I mean, honestly, I never thought this would happen because since the dawn of Dokkan history, since the beginning of this game, we've never been able to run, you know, multiple characters with the same name on a team. And I just thought it was always going to be that way since it's been so long. It's been six years that it's been that way. And now they're going to change it. Now they're going to let us run multiple characters, you know, of the same name on teams. Like, I mean, that's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Like, I can't wait. It's just, I'm kind of shocked that they're doing this. And I've always felt like it was a bit of an arbitrary limitation anyways. It was kind of weird that they wouldn't let us do that. But I just didn't expect them to make a change like that. Of course, this is amazing. Of course, I, you know, could not be happier about it. Just think about all of the team building possibilities now that are available to us with this future update. Of course, we don't know when it's coming. We don't know if it's going to be like next month or in three months, six months, a year, it's hard to say. If I were to bet, I would say definitely within the next six months. Um, I wouldn't expect it like super soon, but you know, within the next like three to four months, I think it's pretty realistic. We'll have to see. It could be like, t it could be next week for all we know, but there aren't any, you know, official dates or times in the notice here. And uh, some other questions, of course, are, you know, are we allowed to run as many characters uh, as we want with the same name? Like, can we run a full team of all the same character? Or would it only be limited to like two characters of the same name? Because that's what it says, right? Two different characters with the same name can be organized into the same team. And also, is this going to be available for all game modes? Or are they going to restrict it to certain game modes? Like, is there going to be just like a new event? that allows us to do this? Or is it gonna be just like open to everything? I mean, there are a lot of questions up in the air right now. Uh, we will have to wait for future information disclosure for details, as it says. So um, I can't answer those at this point in time, but this is huge, guys. This is, this is definitely huge and it's awesome. I'm glad they're, you know, taking these steps to improve the game. I think this is definitely a step in the right direction 
And, uh, you know, a few examples of, like, stuff we can do now with this update would be UI Goku. I'm sure this was the first thing that came to a lot of people's minds when they saw this. They're like, yo, we can now run the LR Ultra Instinct Goku and the Easy A Int UI Goku on the same team. Of course, they're both monsters. Of course, they're both just, you know, wildly broken units. And that's going to be a really fun rotation. Um, you know, imagine a team with these guys, and then this guy, maybe this guy too. I mean, like, there's gonna be so many dodges. Like, that team is barely gonna get hit. And then if you get hit, then this dude's gonna revive you. So, yeah, that's gonna be a crazy team. And then we also have, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Vegitos, where you can run, like, the Fizz Vegito Blue and the Tech Vegito Blue, or, you know, the LR and the Tech 1, or whatever. I mean, if we can run, like, multiple, like, more than two, then we can do all three on the same team. Um, we could also do the Super Saiyan 4s, and this one I'm really excited for because you can run both sets of Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta together. I mean, you can do the LRs, and then you can do the AGL and STR Vegeta and Gokus, and once these guys get their Extreme Z Awakenings, I know they're going to be crazy busted. I mean, Goku right now is doing like 5 million plus damage, so when he gets an EZA, he's going to be hitting for what, like 6, 7 mil? Who knows? But think about this team with uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's going to be a crazy team, man. And you can also run the two uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas together if you want to, right? So um, yeah, there are just so many different combinations, so many different possibilities with this new update. That's why I'm saying it's such a game-changing, game-breaking update, right? Uh, there's, of course, the Brolies, right? The Tech uh, LR Broly with the Dragon Ball Super uh, Fizz Broly, and then you can run the EZA Fizz Broly with the LR Broly, the STR one, that is, and just, like, run, like, a full Broly team, if you felt like, right? And, obviously, Vegeta's getting some love, too. We got the Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This guy's Extreme Sea Awakening whenever that comes. It's going to be awesome. Um, we can do like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas together, the Majin Vegetas with each other, uh, obviously the base Vegetas, so on and so forth. And finally, yo, our boy Piccolo. You know, that was always a huge issue with the Namekians category. All the Piccolos were just called Piccolo, and you can never run them together. But now we can do, you know, Fizz Piccolo. And yo, once the LR Piccolo gets his Extreme Z Awakening, I'm sure he's going to be very, very solid. So he can do like the Fizz one and the uh, Int one. It's going to open up this Namekians category so much. And I'm not going to say it's going to be like one of the best categories in the game by any means, but it's going to be a lot less bad than it currently is, right? So uh, yeah, those are just a few... You know, examples, uh, there are a million different combinations, a million different things you could do with this update. Uh, let me know, I'm curious actually, in the comments down below, what your most anticipated combination would be once this thing comes out. Is it going to be the UI Gokus? Is it the Vegitos? Is it the Gogetas? Is it, uh, oh, the Android 18s? Yo, I could do a full Android 18 team. You guys know, I'm definitely doing a showcase video for that team. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most. And that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. As I said before, there are so many questions still up in the air. There's still so many, um, you know, different aspects of this new update that we still need to find out. My biggest question is definitely uh, what kind of restrictions, if any, are they going to place on our ability to build these teams with multiple characters with the same name. I mean, it does say they want to give us a higher degree of freedom than ever before, so I'm assuming there won't be any restrictions, but of course we'll have to see. So uh, yeah, that is today's video, guys. Exciting things are happening, a lot of potential here, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted once we get more information. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.